Today we're opening epic Yu-Gi-Oh packs for my birthday. What's up guys, we're back with another birthday video. I don't even know if we've ever done a birthday video, but I decided, you know what? It's my birthday, we might as well open some cool stuff. I decided to grab some stuff that I think you guys will like and I will enjoy opening just for a little bit of fun on my birthday. There's not gonna be any other gimmick, it's just my birthday, we're opening old stuff. I know you guys will like this kind of video. But before that, we had to do a big birthday giveaway, which is a ghost rare dark magician girl. Yeah, I figured, you know what? It's my birthday, might as well give an amazing giveaway to somebody. So just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, say whatever you want in the comments, you can enter it. If you want to say happy birthday, if you don't, you don't have to do that either. But you have to leave a comment so that I can pick a comment to win the giveaway if you want to win that. <sighs> I can't believe you missed it. What, Ruxin? What I miss? My last whatnot stream, it was amazing. But don't worry, we have another one coming up next Thursday, April 13th. You might be asking, what is Whatnot? Whatnot is an app where you can live stream your auctions live as well as do buy it now and have listings on a live marketplace. We did a stream last Thursday and I sold a ton of stuff on my buy it now, my live auctions, and a lot of you guys showed up and it was a lot of fun. You can check out my live stream by going to my link down below. You can also find people like Team Samurai and Simply Unlucky on there, they stream as well. And not only can you buy awesome stuff on the platform, you can also win awesome stuff in giveaways. Last time we gave away over over $500 in cards. And if you guys want to win something for free, go check out my next live stream as well. And I forgot to mention the best part. Use my link down below. You get $15 for free when you make your first purchase on whatnot. It can be with me. It can be with someone else like Simply Unlucky or Sam. So make sure you guys come to the live stream Thursday, April 13th. It's going to be at 5 p.m. Central, just like the last one we did. If you guys were here, it's going to be insane. It's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of big cards coming up. A lot of big cards being given away. So I hope to see you there. Thanks again to whatnot for sponsoring this video. All right. So I'm not going to show you all the stuff that I grabbed, but it's not just booster packs. Like we have like a couple other products that you might like as well. I'm just gonna go randomly through it. And we're just gonna have fun while we open this up. It's gonna be a bit of a longer video. We're starting it off with Ghosts from the Past, number one, the first edition pack. So we can't pull Dark Magician Girl out of here, but we can pull the Dark Magician. Let's see if we could do that. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be a nice birthday gift to me. Here we go. We have a Ojama Country, Little J Fresh his start, and a Hell Shadal Hollow. So we're not starting it off crazy. I was hoping maybe we could do that, but I guess not. Here is another product. I decided I wanted to open a mystery box. You guys know I love mystery boxes, so I figured, you know what? Let's open something that I really enjoy opening. The mystery box. This one does have the really cool collectible pins inside. So I'm pretty excited to see if potentially we can pull something good. By the way, I will be streaming on Twitch today. If you guys want to come hang out, say happy birthday, something like that. I'm streaming as, as always, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Today is a Friday. We have a blue eyes white dragon pin. That's a good start. Looking pretty good on this opening. Then we have, oh, I did both at the same time. That was not smart for the mystery pack. Okay, we didn't get anything too crazy, but that's okay. We got flames of destruction. So if you want to come say hi, come check it out. We'll be doing something. I might be playing Pokemon. I might be playing Master Duel. Who knows? We're just kind of doing whatever we want today. Let's see if we can get some good pulls, you know, while you're watching this. Here we go. And maybe we can really get excited. We have a Gurgone, Limit Code, World Legacy, and a Element Saber. I did the pack trick right. I'm excited about that. Unfortunately, that is just a super rare. Okay, I have a few of these ghosts from the past one that I had lying around. I figured, you know what? Let's open these up. So I'll kind of sprinkle these in as we go. But these are uh, really the only new packs we're opening today, besides obviously the mystery pack, with whatever's inside there. We have a Hieratic Seal. Okay, so ultra rare, you know, whatever. All right, Shining Victories. No like starlight potential or anything, but there is of course some secret rares, some really cool stuff. One, two, three. We have a Luna Light White Rabbit, Raid Raptor, Luna Light Wolf, Death Squad Base, Forge of the Two Dracos, Bug Emergency. Wait, was that a super? No, it wasn't. Okay. For formal pal and a, a Morphage Goliath. Did I do? Whoa. Okay. There's an extra card. Morphage Goliath. This is a super, but it's guaranteed supers in this pack. So it doesn't really mean too much on that one. All right. Next up, let's go into another cool product that I have. This is a Ninja Grandmaster Hanzo tin that I've had behind me for a very long time. And I was looking at it. I was like, you know, this might be fun to open. And I looked on the back and I saw the promos. I don't know if you guys see that. There's a Max C in here as a promo. I totally forgot about that. It also has Tour Guide. Number 16 Shockmaster I'm not super familiar with and then Rescue Rabbit three of these four I know really well and they're like big in their time and obviously Maxi is one of the greatest cards ever made and by greatest I mean most powerful a lot of people don't really like it but it's a very powerful card so this is kind of a crazy 10 like there's some really good promos in here and then also there's some nice booster packs like Photon Shockwave, Order of Chaos, Galactic Overlord so let's just go ahead and crack into it and see what we can get all right so this is gonna be a fun one I've had this laying around for quite a while so if there's like a ghost rare in here or something uh it's gonna be funny because I've had it for a long time the Max C I like I was looking at this and I was like wait there's a Max C and I was like I remember there was a Max C promo but I did not realize I had it sitting behind me the whole time let's just open this up because we 
got to get the max C out of its bindings. Kind of like it's going to get unbanned in the TCG. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's probably not. Hanzo, we have a maxi. There it is. Super rare. Crazy. I mean, that's probably like a $15 card right there. Tour Guide, also a really strong card. Number 16, Jogmaster. I really don't recognize this card from anywhere. And then a Rescue Rabbit Super. That's a very nice foil. That very reflective i really like that then inside we have some booster packs and then i think inside you get okay maybe not that wasn't this year they started giving you sleeves at some point but i guess not in this one and you got your little thing duelist league this is where you gave out like the duelist league color promos and stuff pretty cool duelist league for ages 14 and under interesting i didn't realize that was like a dragon duel kind of thing all right here are our packs any first ads okay they're all unlimited okay that's pretty normal for tens but sometimes they throw like random first ads in there i don't know why so figured we'd check them out it didn't seem like they were in there let's see if there's anything crazy in this pack ghost rare potentially one two three i don't know what kind of weird pack trick we're gonna do so i'm just gonna guess that it's that hieratic dragon of newit the nitwit outwit butterfly oak redheaded oni overlay eater constellar belt oh and zector exastag so i definitely messed that up the exastag ultra rare this also comes in like an ultimate rare as well uh but uh this obviously got a reprint recent maybe not obviously but it got a reprint recently in what set was that again the exact it was like the worst card it was like the worst archetype of the set it was the one they didn't really get was it, maybe it was grand creator no was it grand creator i don't remember let me know in the comments what this got reprinted in recently the insector stuff i can't remember now no wait, it was grand creators i think because this was like we pulled the dragonfly collector rare and that was like my only collector rare because then we opened the cases with no collector rares. i think that's right i think that is i think it was grand creators it's been that long that's crazy order of chaos let's go interesting yeah i'm pretty sure i'm right about that let's see what order of chaos can have inside of this pack so i don't know if it has the same pack trick but i'm gonna switch it up i'm just gonna do three this time we have a wind up honeybee starlight star bright first star i see tonight galaxy storm full force we got the interplanetary purpley thorny dragon curry volt dark flat top very nice and a numeron errata testudo all right those numerons are numeron newman sorry numeron is different that's the deck you don't want to play in master rule this is uh neither play against special summon monster with 1800 lesser attack which is kind of a floodgate so i'm sure you guys love that all right time for one more ghost from the past one as we're going through these hoping that one of these will contain the legendary dark magician but if you remember ghost from the past one the pull rates were very difficult it was like, really really hard to get a card you wanted update jammer and uh, Sunfine Thrasher. So as you can see, pretty difficult. You don't usually get the card you want. Let's go with a Galactic Overlord. I would love to pull a Ghost Shirt Galaxy Ads Photon Dragon. Unlimited. So I don't have one of those for my binder, I believe. I think. I might be wrong about that. But I did pull one out of the mystery box at one time, but uh or the mystery pack, but I never I didn't keep it. Luton, we have the Influence Dragon, Hieratic Seal of Sun Dragon Overlord, Insector Ladybug, a Hammer Shark, and Overlay Owl. He's overlaying, just like Xyz. Two packs to go. Let's go Order of Chaos next. Let's see if we can pull, what is it, the, num the C39 Utopia Ray, whatever. Just Utopia Ray, I think, not Victory. Okay, three from the back. We have the Testudo, Wind Up Honeybee, Starlight Star Bright, first star we see tonight, the Shocktopus. <laughs> Oh, even branch whoa what was that we well, we almost died opening a pack and wind up rat that's a super rare very nice oh my goodness the wind up rat we almost lost it in the middle of this pack not sure what happened there but the wind up rat has been pulled super rare not guaranteed in these old packs all right photon shockwave let's see what we can pull will it be the legendary galaxy eyes photon dragon one two three one i've never pulled by the way i would love to pull it zen mail function ego boost Damage diet, diet and that damage. We have the vanilla, Laval, dual slasher, senior silver ninja. He's a senior. Mirror mail, evil sword pelta, and a Watt Cobra. No guaranteed foil back in the photon shockwave days. So we're just moving on. Back to our legendary ghost from the past. One, will there be a ghost rare inside? We have Sunvine Healer Ultra Rare, Time Thief Flyback, Heo Zanru. Cosmojo and a Hieratic Seal of Creation. So we're not pulling out a Ghost from the Past, but you guys can win a Ghost from the Past, do Dark Magician Girl, either way. All right, next up, we have a Spell Ruler pack. This is a third-party blister trading card game from Legends. Yes, the Legends contains one pack. On the back, it shows some other cool stuff, like some of those other Legends promo, like not promo, but third-party stuff we've opened. Looking for other Legends games and trading cards. Oh, look for other Legends. I mean, it's not theirs. It's just a repackaged by them, but okay. Spell Ruler pack inside. So this is not a reprint. This is like a, uh, this looks to be a 10 2003 pack. So I don't know if there's any dates on here or anything, but this is probably a 2003 pack if I had to guess. Based on when the Legends was packaged, probably could have looked at that too. That was probably packaged in like 2004 or 5. Let's see if we can get that Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. So we have Darth Maul right at the front. Very nice. One, two, three, four, 
we have Stone Ogre Grotto, a behemoth shaped by giant boulders. Chain Energy, High Tide Yojin, Boar Soldier, Darth Maul, Horn of Light, Sonic Bird, Taihon number two, and a Mother Grizzly, just a regular rare. This is SRLEN, so this is from like Master Collection era slash Forbidden Legacy. So that's pretty old school right there. All right, guys, hope you're enjoying it. We have a lot more packs to open. It's gonna be somewhat of a long video. Hope you're enjoying your popcorn if you're eating that right now. Hero Zanru, Cosmol, Dark Lady, Salvage, Time Thief, Bezel Ship, and Starry Night Ceremony. All right, we're still searching there, but don't worry, we have another tin this is a majestic red dragon tin from 2010 five packs and five foil cards inside promos aren't as crazy in this one they're still not bad they have the strata wait there's a stratos in here never mind they're still really good stratos is crazy there's a uh val valdigion the fairy guy he's interesting cyber dinosaur battle fader so battle fader and stratos are both crazy so maybe not as good but i mean we're still talking pretty high quality and speaking of you guys saw my video the other day they are bringing promos back to the 10 so they're going to be pretty exciting i mean there's going to be some nice stuff to pull out of there it's going to be just like the old days you know back then they were they're were reprinting just crazy cards like at the time stratos was a really nice elemental hero card battle fader was crazy playable and hopefully that's what they're doing in the next mega for us so i'm pretty excited about that so we have the 2010 option we have the majestic red dragon let's open this up and get the promos out so we got some serious warping going on here we're gonna open it up anyway we're gonna see the promos inside get that elemental hero stratos the battle fader that's also pretty nice okay man these are warped we have a majestic red this is extremely warped stratos is beautiful but he is gonna need some books we have a the val dalgion van dalgion Cyber Dinosaur, I remember this card, but it's just not very useful. And then a Battle Fader, but man, those are some Pringles right there. I didn't order a, you know, a thing of Pringles or whatever, but apparently I did by accident. But so pretty cool cards. Maybe we'll try to flatten those out and actually make them playable. Then inside we have our packs, which are pretty... Oh, we got another little thing. We got some... Oh, yeah. Get your... Uh, your, your Shonen Jump Magazine subscription, that doesn't exist anymore. We have Absolute Power Force, Stardust Overdrive, Shining Darkness. So some pretty old school stuff here. Let's open this up. Let's start off with a Shining Darkness pack. Can we get the Black Wing Dragon Unlimited? I don't think I have the Unlimited. I have all the first heads for the Black Wing Dragon for my binder, but oh wait, I might need to do three. I'm going to do that just in case. Power Breaker, Memory Crush, Crush King, Key Mouse, Crevice. We have, I might have messed this up big time. Quakimura Sandman, Flare Resonator. I did! Infernity Mirage! I knew I messed it up. All right, so what, if I had done four? So they come in front, which is very interesting. Infernity Mirage used to be crazy valuable, but I think it got an ultra rare reprint, so it's definitely not. It was like a $10 super. No, but no, wait. It might have been a $30 super. It was like something insane. So that's still a pretty good pull. Not as good anymore now that it's been reprinted, but still pretty awesome. Now let's open a Ghost Run Fast 1. We have a couple more of these. And don't worry, guys, this tin is not the end. We have more after this as well. There's going to be some crazy cards open. Hopefully some amazing pulls. Hieratic Dragon, Hieratic Sun Dragon, Overlord of Helipolis, Helipolis, and another Ultra. Okay, it's a lot of Ultras. Let's go to the Absolute Power Force. Can we pull the Majestic Red Dragon? We did pull a Majestic Red Dragon. Secret Rare. It was warped. Now let's pull the Ghost Rare. One, two, three. I'm going to do three. We have a Bikular. Servant Suppression, Fire and Ascator, Magic Hole Golem, he's got a magical hole, Triangular, we have a Meteor Flare, Break Draw, Core Blast, and a Rose of Fairy. So I don't know if it would have been in front of that rare or not, I'm not really sure, just depends on the set. Let's go into our Stardust Overdrive pack. Can we get something big? I mean, Stardust Overdrive has some really nice cards, even in Super Rare, you know, just a lot of solid stuff. We're gonna do three from the back on this one as well. Don't wanna mess up anything. We have a Relinquished Spider, just like Pegasus. Limit Impulse, Gorgon, Roar the Earthbound, Solitaire Magician, Wolf and Sheep's Closing. Wait, whoa, this is a, a hollow. Okay, so I should have done the weird pack trick. Fortune's for Future, Fortune's Future. There we go, not Fortune's Fortune. I always want to say Fortune's Fortune on this card. I feel like we pulled it before. Very nice, another super rare. We're getting a lot of foils, but like low end stuff. We want to get that higher end stuff if we can. All right, Absolute Power Force time. Let's see if we can pull an Ultimate Rare, a Ghost Rare, something crazy. So I think the pack trick is the weird pack trick where you go like this. I'm going to try that. We have a Power Supplier, Reptilian, Gardena, Destruct Potion, Advance Force, Swordmaster, Call of the Reaper, Viper's Rebirth, Dark Bug and a Ritual of Destruction. So nothing in that one. Go on to our final pack of the 10, the Shining Darkness. Can we pull the Black Winged Dragon? One, two, three. Here we go. Black Winged Dragon. Give it to us. Bless us with something amazing. Ronin Toten. A pretty crazy card, to be honest. We have a Black Wing Ghibli. Dragon Laser. Charger Zangron. We have the Assault Spirits. Bio Falcon. Power Break. Cherry and Mado. And... 
him a Saber Vault secret rare. I forgot this was a secret rare. I feel like I pulled this before. First, I was like, wait, this looks like a hollow. Then I was like, wait, the name shiny. Is this a rare? And then I was like, oh, wait, it's a secret rare. Crazy. I don't know if this is a very good card, but hey, a secret rare has been pulled. That's pretty amazing. All right. Ghost from the past one. Bless us with a ghost rare now. So we got a secret rare. That's pretty nice. Now, just bless us with something really big, like a ghost rare dark magician. Come on. Artifact. I take a blue eyes alternative. I wouldn't be mad. Sun Avalon dry. All right, so we got more Sun Avalon. Now let's go into our next set of packs, which is the Dark Revelation Volume 1. We're talking old school now. We're talking real old. I'm guessing 2005 or 4 when this came out. I These are in the weird order, so I don't know where this is going to be. Guardian Gayest. Saras Gay, Samurai, DK. Oh, 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 oh. I think I ruck. Oh, that's a foil, I think. Wait, 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 wait. Let's do a little bit of that. I think that was a foil. Frozen Soul, Trap of Border Racer, Arsenal Robber, Contract with Dark Master, Spell Reproduction. That's a Ruxin special. Kishido Spirit, the DD Trainer, and Blast Held by a Tribute. Dark Revelation 1. What's up with us pulling this recently? I pulled this out of Dark Crisis First Ed recently. Or wait. Veronic Guardian, Dark Crisis. I always get them mixed up. Which one is it from? Veronic Guardian, Dark Crisis? I can't remember because I remember saying the wrong thing when I had a PSA 10. I don't know. I can't keep up. I'm pretty sure that it's from DCR and I was saying Veronic Guardian. I think that's what it was. Okay, we have a Miss Valley Baby Rock. Metaphors Counter. Time Thief Retrogate. We have Sunvine Shrine and we have a Meteor Black Common Dragon for the FTK. Why do I feel like this is money? I don't think it is actually. The reprint isn't, but the original might be like five bucks. Back to the old school Dark Revelation 2. So Dark Revelation 1 went pretty well. Let's see Dark Revelation 2 can bless us as well. Here we go. Get it well. We have a tip. I don't even know what that meant. Theban Nightmare. Oh wait, is that our rare? I think that's our rare. Disc Fighter. Okay, let's see. We have 2,000 Needles, Coach Goblin, Energy Drain, or to Smash Anything Crazy, Triangle Power, and DD border line so old school cards i just don't like how they set up those packs they're not that interesting when they do that when they pop up the beginning we have ghost from the past one i have two more of these packs two more chances to pull a ghost here we have galaxy Eye cypher dragon splash mage pretty good for access code lines we have the sunseed shadow and uh, dragoonity glow all right the glow's back at it and finally not finally but this is the final dark revelation pack we have volume three what will be inside the volume of the three? Oh, i just I just punched over a pile there. Whoops. Element Soldier. We have Inseg 9 with his Battle Prowess. The Arm Dragon Level 3. Chusuke the Mouse Fighter. Woodborg and Pachi. Dark Mimic Level 1. Nitro Union. I think that's our rare. Miss Polymerization. Absolute End. Kazaki and Ballista. All right, our final ghost from the past one. Will the final pack of not the opening, but of this specific set be crazy? We have Hieratic Dragon. We have Time Thief, we have Photon Thrasher, and we have uh, Starry Night Rail. So Ghost from the Past not coming through this time, but that's okay. It will in the future, maybe. Still a few packs to go. We have a Star Strike Blast First Edition. So they only come in first dead in this set, but they are pretty rare either way. Can we pull something big like the Shooting Star Dragon? I'm just going to do this. I feel like, actually, I feel like maybe it's this. Ghost Rare, Ultimate Rare, Secret Rare, all available in here. Let's see if we can pull them. Send me some luck in the comments, guys. Power Sync Stone, Dark World Shackles. We have Ally of Justice, Unknown Carrier, Blackwing Booby Trap, The Mirror Ladybug, Quacky Mirror Merchant, and MDL 177. In a, okay, it's too much. And uh, Synchro Soldier. So nothing inside of that pack would have been pretty amazing because that's a crazy set, but we have a few packs left. Maybe they can provide now it's time for a little flaming eternity first edition ultimate rare i think a hobby pack i guess we'll find out if we pull something crazy um we don't really know for sure i'm pretty sure it's a hobby pack one two three i think it's four on this one but i'm not gonna risk it i'm just gonna do three we have catnipped kitty Poison Fang, can we get a Rescue Cat? Divine Dragon Ragnarok, we got the Thor action. Hyena, Abare Ushioni, Element Burst. Oh, that's a Ruxin special. We have a Element Valkyrie, a Phoenix Wing Wind Blast, which apparently is worth a few bucks in rare, like more than I thought it was. That's actually a pretty nice card, but unfortunately no hollow. Not to worry, still plenty of packs left. Invasion of Chaos. We have had a secret rare pull today, so that's not terrible. I can't complain. They're not doing the worst, uh, but we would love something crazy, you know, to end it off. That'd be nice. Chaos and Rear Dragon. So this is an original, uh, I guess it's original Unlimited here. Gigantis, it is not a reprint. You can tell from the, the color of the pack, you know, the, the, the red banner logo. Zero, we have the Witch Doctor of Chaos. 
Compulse. Wait, can you get a foil on this? It depends. Sacred Crane. It depends on which unlimited it is, but it seems like it's the OG. Unfortunately, just a Sacred Crane there. Now it's time to open up a First Dead Legacy of Darkness. Here we go. Yada or Rejection Fairy Lily? I'm happy with either one. I'm not going to be mad either way. I'm just saying. I will be very, very happy. We can pull something crazy. One, two, three, four. Legacy of Darkness always has this like gritty feel to it. We have a wing beat of Giant Dragon, which is pretty cool. Dragon Manipulator. Life Absorbing Machine is just sucking the life out of him. It's like Paris. That's basically what it is. Possessed Dark Soul, Super Rejuvenation, Bad Reaction to Samoji. When I did my LOD box break with all the YouTubers, it was funny how many of them were like, ha, the Samoji. We have a, a Robo Lady and we have the A Force is not anything. It's just the rare. All right, we are down to the last four packs. It's getting towards the end. We have four old school packs left. Can we pull something big out of these? Come on. It's crazy how like we're opening such old packs right now. Like this is a 20 year old pack it was meant to be open 20 years ago. Some other still around. We have Biomage, which is pretty exciting. Aqua Spirit, Spirit Elimination. If someone had opened it back then, what would they have gotten? Let's see, Spherus Lady, Fusion Gate, crazy card. And we have a Shining Abyss and we have a Ryoku Field. That is the Dragon Ball Z Super Rare card. Very nice. So we will take it. Dragon Ball Super? Huh? Is that what I just said? Three packs to go. I think it is time to open up this Magician's Force booster pack. Here we go. We've had some pretty crazy luck with Magician's Force recently. I don't expect it to continue at that level because we pulled two Dark Magician Girls, which is like absurd. But if it does continue, I'm not going to be mad. We have a Mass Driver. Poison of the Old Man. Be careful of that old man. Aitsu. Careful of that guy. He's not wearing any clothes. Dark Cat. We have Physical Double. Decayed Commander. Kaiser Coliseum. Amazon is Blow Piper and the Amazon is Tiger. So nothing too crazy out of that MFC pack, but we have two more packs. We got to keep hoping. Magic Ruler, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Let's go. We have a Koto Dama. Will we get that Hungry Burger? The Hungriest of Burgers. Octo Burser. We did get it. The Hungriest of Burgers. Commencement Dance. Stone Ogre Grotto. Chain Energy. High Tide Geosian. Boar Soldier and a senju of the thousand hands okay so we are not pulling crazy today i mean i guess just that's just how it goes on the birthday you're not going to pull amazing final pack we of course had to end it with my favorite said metal raiders will we be able to pull the petite moth aka the pequeno moth the strongest card i know you guys saw the 10 minute testing i mean it is extremely powerful here we go two three four all right so it looks like some of the cards are upside down which is going to be interesting let's just flip those around Final pack, guys. We have a Yado Karu. Oh, that is a Ruxin special. Bless me with some luck. Big Eye, Ring of Magnetism, Mushroom Man, number two. Then we have a Jurai Gumo. Blackland Fire Dragon. This is MRD. This is old school, not a reprint. Steel Scorpion, Prevent Rat. And do we have something in the final card? An elegant egotist. So those heartbeat ladies have foiled us again. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy Hoppus, Choice 333, Michael James Jance, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and Anna Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.